Welcome back. The Treeport Mudbugs have made the playoffs in every season of the junior hockey era. In fact, they haven't missed the playoffs since all the way back in 2003. Taylor Nettle has more. The Shreveport Mudbugs have officially punched their ticket to the playoffs after a weekend sweep of the Oklahoma Warriors. The Bugs sit at second in the South Division, just 10 points behind the Lone Star Brahmas. You know, the only thing we can do is try to win out and uh, win as much as we can. And, and if we get help, we get help. If we don't, we don't. We just, uh, again, we're in the playoffs, so, so that's the biggest thing right now. we got to focus on our team being the best best we can come playoff time. In this league, every, every team are very good, so we need to, uh, to show up every night. So I think, uh, like I said, we're happy but not satisfied. So we're just looking forward to continue playing great and even getting better. Goalie Elliot Sigan Lascaro has been a key part of the Bugs' success. He's won his last seven straight starts in net and is 22-4-1 on the season. And his impressive 1.91 goals against average is the fourth best in the league. Uh, obviously, it's very nice to have the, all those numbers and everything, but I'm, I'm trying not to focus on that and just uh, being focused on uh, getting better every day. He, he could have easily, as young as he is, and the struggles he had during training camp, he could have said, uh-uh, this isn't for me. I'm going to go somewhere else or do something else, you know, but, but he didn't. He was like, no, I got this, and, and he has. He's had a wonderful season and exceptional year. We, we wouldn't be where we are without him and obviously Nico as well. The Mudbugs will be heading back to Oklahoma City this week for another series against the Warriors. Reporting from George's Pond, I'm Taylor Nettle. The Bugs on the road this week, but they return to the home ice Friday, March 8th at 7-11. They're going to take on the Amarillo Wranglers over at George's Pond. As always, puck drop, like I said, at 7-11.